Welcome back to Rift, everybody. We got here to Guar Station Tall. And, uh, they're kind of very twitchy. So let's go ahead and, uh... Help them out here, and let's go ahead and study the statues for us, see how that gets us. Guard Station Tall Network automated broadcast will be soon in zero, two, one, two. Now could tell you this place is both ancient and fascinating. Why the Undyr abandoned it is not nearly as fascinating as why they built it in the first place, here on the edge of the cosmos. To that end, I believe it will be the ornate statues found at three locations around within the structures that will give us the best clues to the purpose and design of this place. The two interior statues are similar to the four exterior ones. They're situated in such a way as to be mirroring one another. Tentacles are displayed in a manner that suggests rapid maneuver, similar to the behavior of several creatures found in and around Kabura Reef. The orientation of the tail, curved around below, in the same direction as the head, suggests that the depicted creature is reversing direction. Perhaps this is a warning to others to turn back, a common theme of many cultures wishing to keep outsiders away from the most private cultural facilities. What's most thrilling about this statue is its immense detail. While the Anir possess a bold and eccentric imagination, the ability to replicate the structures conjured by the mind in such realistic detail is fascinating to me. Who were these people and why is it that they left? The other statues may yet offer more clues. Right, here they are. Gun station town Curious. automated broadcast will resume in zero, three, four, seven. Look similar. The study of the southern statues presents several hypotheses, none that I'm very confident in. Out here, however, the mind tends to wander to strange and desperate places. From those statues, I draw two major revelations, each supporting a different one of the, my theories. The reverse observation is that these statues, unlike the interior ones, are positioned evenly rather than angled to one another or the southern, to one side or the other. And so, if they are intentionally positioned, this suggests that it's two separate entities rather than one. As I believe earlier, could these be de depictions of some race of sea creature no longer found living within these seas of this place? A second observation, and by far the most potent of the two, is that the statues appear to have fully detailed mouths, complete with carvings all the way into the passage of the throat. I expected to find some sort of apparatus used by Anir to project a voice through the statue, either as a form of idol worship or to threaten marauders away from the walls. I was also surprised to discover what appears to be the intestinal tract of a colossal sea creature. Checking the previous statues in the interior, I discovered that they too possess this immigal detail. Perhaps they aren't statues at all, but rather living creatures somehow transformed in stone. Perhaps this is the manner by which the Orneator pit attempted to preserve declined creatures of the great oceans. Perhaps there's also means of restoring them to their former life. The eastern statues may shed additional light on the mystery. Okay, eastern ones. Is that from the outside or the inside here? Okay, yeah, there's another way out of here, apparently. The eastern statues are identical to the southern ones, with two notable exceptions. I'll explain these in chronological sequence so that you, dear reader, can under can come to understand, just as I did, what great and terrible thing I've discovered. Seeing that the statues were identical to the ones in the south of the site, I decided to take some measurements. Surely if these were indeed sea creatures converted to living stone, their dimensions would differ ever so slightly, according to the natural variance present in all species. I would discover that their dimensions are completely identical. This proves that they are indeed nothing more than statues constructed from solid pieces of granite. However, during the course of measuring the statues around the site, I made an anticipated discovery. Not only are these statues' measurements identical, they also appear to be moving, in a subtle slight almost undetectable, like the movement of a glacier that sit upon. But my figures do not lie, these statues are moving. Speaking of cosmologic, cosmologics man, we offer only one solution, that these statues we see here are actually reflections of an elsewhere long-lost entity, that's somehow split by the pallor of frozen Tarkin glacier. 
Gravity of the glacier then casts these empirical reflections in the substance most similar to these corporal, current turbal phase, that of solid granite. They remain frozen in stone ever since. Was Tarkin Glacier's hold over these reflections ever to dissipate, these creatures might perhaps be restored to flesh and blood. Either that, or they might recombine at the point during which they were originally subjected to the power of the glacier. Either way, there's a strong chance that these entities could be freed from their current and likely predicament. Hmm. Very curious. So... Basically, the statues are alive, but they're sort of like a fractured image, almost. I think that's what they were saying. Like their placement here in the glacier, Tarkin Glacier, like made them turn, like fracture as an entity. I think. Perhaps there is some truth to Fitzgerald's hypothesis. Perhaps these statues really are frozen reflections of the being you know as Achilles. Like a prism scattering a beam of light, Tarkin Glacier has scattered the image of Achilles and froze it into a stone-cold reality. Ready that is fraying here at the edge of the cosmos. That is... Very unfortunate if that's the case. Gyrostation Tower Network automated broadcast the recent in 0567. Very blizzardy sky. Glad you're here, Ascended. We can use all the help we can get. That sounds like her way of thinking. I was about to go about our missing snow rocks. But honestly, I think you're better suited to the task than this gold now. Then settled. I'll head back to Freckler and get things under control. While you track down our missing animal. You admit from time to time I can be a bit difficult, but today is no normal day, is it? Half the team is to the left, smashing equipment and trying to kill our research animals. But we've also had an Ascent arrive. The others may see you as a threat, but I know a boon when I see one. Eh, never mind that. The troublemakers all packed up and left for the most part. People are just uneasy with the idea of you. Strange, I know, for a group of scientific minds to be worried the likes of you rather than excited to see you in the flesh now. Give them time, they'll come around to the more op optimistic way of thinking. Did he now? Well, I'll worry about dealing with him. It sounds like we both have our work cut out for us. Talk to Scott. He'll fill you in with what needs to know about the zoo and our missing Snorax. Best of luck. I'm zoologist Scott, Evan Scott. I tend to the animals in our pens and keep tabs on the wild herds and packs out in the petting zoo. That's my nickname for the eastern zoo trips. Everyone here just calls it the zoo. When the chaos started, it started here. Someone tried killing the research animals, but only got a few before the rest stampeded. They break the perimeter fencing to get away. Guess whoever was out here gave up on trying to hunt them down in the blizzard. There's only one Sarox left unaccounted for. We've got to get him back before he joins a wild heart in the zoo and contaminates the control groups. I marked the research animal for radio acetope. Here's a tracking device that can pick up the isotope trail on the Snorox that we'll have left behind. It's only good for long distance tracking. If he's found a herd, you'll need to use his isotope skin on the Snorox to make sure he hasn't um, contaminated any of the others. Oh, that way, okay. <coughs> Discovered the zoo. All right.
Well, I guess we have some of these we can kill. Kind of it's a kind of unfortunate too that we have uh, we're not level 64 because we're getting 64 level items and we're not being able to equip them at the moment. These alphas, I think, are a little bit stronger than the regular ones. Because they seem to do quite a bit of damage to my Razor Beast. They're not elites, which is interesting. I guess. I should be able to kill this one, but I'm worried about the Razor Beast finishing off the Alpha. It's probably not going to happen. Actually, I don't know. Yeah, it looks like we'll pull out this through. Just barely. Certainly looks like going out here quite a bit, aren't they? Oh, it's a carcass. That's unfortunate. You escaped the research Snorax, all right. Fortunately, it appears that a pack of Lobos have already gotten to it. Through them, the Snorax could have contaminated the entire Zeus ecosystem. Predators must be hunted down. Hmm. Okay.
I managed to just pull that out. Got another tracking signal. Definitely getting around here. Where are we going? What were they doing to these animals? This is certainly not good. Okay, I didn't get another house body that time. Okay. Actually, we might as well go up here and take a look at uh, what's going on. Because we can unfade that bit of the map over there. <laughs> what is going on over here? Huh. Curious indeed. Ooh, that's very good. Like, that's exceptionally good. Can I equip it, though? Yeah, it looks like I can. Let's go ahead and do that, then. There we go. Yeah, I'd like to get as much of this area as I can figured out. Who knows if we're coming back this area or not. Oh, we found a full-on temple over here. Okay, we're probably coming back to that, I imagine. <laughs>
All right, we made it. Ah, good to see you. Our famous friend returns from the hunt. Unbroken from the force of the storm, in the grand contest of morals versus the fury of nature's wrath, he returns victorious. The adventure years not treasure, but a tale of horror of what became of our Sonorx escapee. My fears and instincts put to the empirical test are validated. In the current crisis of resolve, we must talk a greater length of your first-hand account of the transformation. Path to knowledge is seldom pretty, but ignorance can only lead to a darker reality. Even in this time of crisis, mortal minds are still consumed with petty desires like greed and fame. I hope you are different, Ascended. I wish that the path towards power is also one towards morality. Sadly, Sarajah's Sarman fell short of that wish. He discovered something dangerous. It may even have caused his madness, but his crimes are still shrouded in mystery. He took what little research we saved from the vandals and escaped to the big dig. The answers to this strange rebellion may lie within those papers. Journey well. Alrighty. Looks like we're heading off this way out this time, and... Yeah, I don't know if you want to pick a fight there, guys. <laughs> The Big Dig. Still more penguins around. I love those little guys. Sir Talon Sarman, he passed through in a Frenchie a few hours ago. His eyes were wild and he wouldn't really talk. He just kept mumbling random phrases like things moving under the ice, void, and banished and imprisoned. I don't need research data to tell you he wasn't well. He ran off into the dig during a bad snowstorm. We wouldn't follow him, and we couldn't follow him. You should search some of the dig sites around here. There may be clues to help you find him. He did seem to be clutching resource notes to his chest. Is that why Cos Cosmologist Man sent you? Let's see what's going to be out here. Blighted, okay. Seems like something bad is going on here. This guy's got some health, though. Whoa there, you're talking 65 enemies already? Wow, okay. They really expected to get uh, quite a bit done in Dromheim, apparently. <laughs> That's leopards in a glacier. Some stuff is really going off here.
Alright, maybe I should talk to these guys first before I go and get into the carnage quest going. seen Zerocha Sarman. He was here just moments ago. With terror. That's strange. Whoa! What the heck? I was expecting this. Luckily, these guys are all weak. I see like ruins all over the place, too. Or the other one too. This mining explosive left here was primed and ready, and seems to be connected to some of the devices throughout the area. Here's that the researchers were getting ready to blow up the artifacts they were uncovering before those artifacts could corrupt them. If you should finish the job, they couldn't. Nice, looks like we managed to get this one without uh, aggravating the other one. It's a lot easier when you can grab these guys when they're not near the uh, other set. It's 
I think as long as you don't aggro the other ones with the first hit, then they won't aggro at all. Even if they come closer. At least that's what I assume anyways. I work on the Blighted blind, Leopard one still, too. But I forgot about that one. And that one's down. Yeah, I think we'll reach level 64 before, before the end of the zone, but we'll definitely. I don't have any thoughts on actually actually being able to reach level 65 at the end of this. We're probably gonna have to do something extra. Well, that's right, we did get another uh, quest item here. This selling multi tooth gear is radiates a sinister and dark energy. Collect more for further study. Alright. Uh, that didn't aggro the other one, that's curious. Oh, now it did. Okay, I guess my original idea was wrong. They can't aggro after you start the battle. Imagine there's got to be some that have respawned over here by now. Alright, yeah. So at least have this one carriage quest done with. Oh, we can get more than one from them, okay. That actually makes things a lot easier. made things a lot easier for me. I don't feel as bad about uh, doing this quest now, as we're already halfway done with it.
kind of hoping to grab the one of them and not the other. Yeah, that didn't quite work out, but whatever. Now they're one, not wanting to drop the three set for me. That's a bit unfortunate. Okay, there we go. Now we only need two tops. One if we get another set with three. Let's hope this one drops three and saves us from doing another one. Uh, we weren't lucky enough for that, I guess. And there we go. Another one finished. Nice. <coughs> We're almost at the halfway point of our experience bar, so that's why I've been paying attention to the carnage quest. So I'd be happy the quicker we get to at least the halfway point. Because I feel like this zone's not going to be very big for some reason. I don't know. The fact that it switched so quickly to 65 enemies just makes me think it's not going to be a really big spot. It seems like the further we go into this place, the worse it's getting. We've gone from like cult-like activity to straight up undead going on here, so... Okay, it's four out of five, we just need one more of these. Thank you. 
Huh, did we really pass up the last one over here somewhere? There has to be one more around here, because it's a very small area. Oh, it's up there. Okay. <laughs> nice. Even killed all the enemies over there, too. Let's continue killing the undead at the for the moment. Just take a sip here, why not? Oh, that would cause that to aggro as well, even with these guys? Huh. I was not expecting that. Maybe I should have. One more husk. And down. We're probably gonna get assaulted over here like we did at the other uh, dig site, so. The void is lightless. Uh. Yeah, I figured much.
Yeah, these guys actually whittled me down quite a bit, but now that they're down to some little, it doesn't really matter. I think there may have been one or two more this time than last time. We're heading up this way. Oh, I didn't mean to interrupt it there. Uh, not sure it went on over there. <laughs> Yeah, more of these guys. I don't trust it at all. They rule with terror. Okay, now everything's going red. It seems stronger this time, too, I think. I feel like I'm losing health a lot quicker. Please help, doggy. Or Razor Beast, whatever. down, that's unfortunate. Ooh. Oh wait, there's still one more. Okay, at least it didn't reset the entire thing. I was worried if I died it was going to do that, but I'm happy to say it didn't. <laughs> Did res didn't it did reset it.
really bad. I can't clear it properly. That sucks. <laughs> oh, it sent me all the way back here? Ugh. That is not good. Maybe I'll go with the raptor this time. Doesn't seem like I need so much a tanker as I much need a more damage. Just higher damage output overall. This is a long way back though. I wish there was a point that was closer than this. Sheesh. I don't know if this is good or not. No, I don't think it is. That is indeed a bad sign there. Maybe I should try using my uh, other class. One that can hit multiples at once. Oh, is it like four, I think?
Oh, wrong thing. Oh. We are but parasites. Oh, wait, I have no health. Oh yeah, that worked out. <laughs> May as well keep this on for the moment in case I have another one. Am I gonna have multiple enemies in here? Didn't mean to do that. Let's see if I can just get out of here. Uh I shouldn't have tempted fate with keeping that build in. I should have went back to Ranger. How do I get out of here again? Okay, it's this way. Yeah. Actually, I may as well just come back here and uh, get mended up instead. And to what do I owe this visit? It's a harsh world out there. You know, if this mount, I move faster than my dead speed, so it actually works out better just to revive here. Guess it does make sense to go this way. Okay.
Okay, I'm pretty sure he's in this little campment over here or something. Actually, it's kind of weird overall, because it's... You... Man sent you, didn't he? These notes prove I was right all along! Apparently, they're all turning into creatures. It's almost like the movie The Thing. Oh, he found his notes. Now we can finally head back. Alright. Let's go this way. Oh, there's a leap this way. Not what I wanted. But it's still all good. We managed to get by. Siren, you're back. Things grew strange as soon as you left. The staff started transforming to monstrous creatures. I suspect whatever infected Zarman has spread. We need to figure out a way to test the senior staff here at Tau. Till then, I've developed a quarantine shield so we can't spread the infection. Let me show you. Well, we'll go ahead and do that next time, as this is probably a good stopping point. It's gone on for over an hour now, so... Next time, we'll continue to figure out what exactly the heck is going on here. So, see you then.